Okay, I'm Coop. This is going to be a tour of my workshop. This is not an arsenal update or blasters. This is where I work and do my modifications and maybe a bit of review information. So as you can see, this is my work desk. This was where most of the stuff occurs, or at least my modifications. Uh, here's a little tray that goes into my pegboard. The pegboard is mounted to the drywall, and then I have a lot of tools mounted on the pegboard. Blasters as well, but I'm going over the tools. Uh, so I have some batteries. I usually throw these in when I'm testing a blaster. Digital camera, I don't actually use that as much. Uh, markers, Q-tips. I use Q-tips to spread epoxy, JB Weld, or anything like that. Markers to mark blasters. I use different colors depending on the shell color uh, to mark cuts or holes or whatever. Some epoxy putty, a lighter. I need lighters for uh, shrink wrap. I have a bunch of my paints here on a little wire thing that also goes into the pegboard. Uh, pegboard sorry. A lot of these are Citadel paints. I also have some test doors in there. Um, over here, I have my Dremel bits. My Dremel's right here. That's pretty much always plugged in and ready to go because I use my Dremel a lot. Uh, here are my Dremel bits. The basic kit that comes with it, nothing special. I usually use my sanding bit and my cutting wheel the most. Um, inside this other thing, I egg in another lighter just so I have one on hand. Uh, two pairs of safety glasses. I do use those anytime I'm um, Dremeling or cutting anything. Moving around, uh, cordless drill. Use that to uh, drill holes and stuff. You know, that's, that's what you use a drill for. Uh, pipe cutters, miniature hammer, uh, small flashlight. This is a tap with a 632 tap in. Uh, tap allows you to drill a hole and then tap it, so then the screw has something to thread into instead of just drilling a hole and having to use a nut. So that's great for certain applications. These little tool things are really cool because I can move my tools around wherever I want them. I'm usually keeping them pretty um, consistent. It's more appropriate for the blasters because it changes whenever I move a gun. Uh, but for the tools, it's really cool, so I can just move them around. But I have uh, small needle nose pliers, various drivers, wire cutters, or just snips, whatever you want to call them, uh, pliers, scissors, wire cutters, and wire strippers, uh, which I usually use when I'm uh, modding flywheel guns or whatever. Various tapes, I use electrical tape. This is Teflon tape, my solder, some wire, uh, some goofy tape, um, colored electrical tape, and then over here I have Gorilla tape, uh, painter's tape, and then two colors of duct tape. Um, and then white lithium grease and solvent weld. I like this setup because everything's just right at hand, so when I'm sitting in my seat here, I can pretty much just reach out whatever I need. I do have to get up for some of my other tools, which I'll get to, uh, but these are my mostly common tools that I use a lot. My table isn't anything special. It's just a foldable plastic table. I purchased at Target, probably $45. Um, it's a great table because you, it's plastic, so I don't really care about it. It's not like a high-quality table, so if I leave paint, if I break it, if I chip it, whatever. Um, it's a work table. That's what I use it for. My chair is my old retired computer chair. Uh, nothing special there. It's pretty comfortable. My light source, which is important, are my filming lamps. I actually bought these lights because uh, they come with stands and they also come with umbrellas. I only put the umbrellas on when I'm filming actual review videos, which I'll go over on my tarp area. Uh, but I keep three of these lights on at all times just to have enough light when I'm working here so I don't have many shadows when I'm working on a gun. Um, visibility is always important, especially when you're painting. Running all my tools here, I have these little uh, extension cords that have three prongs at the end of each of them, um, so then I can have power. Just a little detail. Moving to my uh, shelves here, these are just plastic shelves. I'm pretty happy with them. I have a tool chest up here that holds uh, tape measure, a JB Weld, epoxy, uh, safety glasses, hot glue, just miscellaneous tools. Go over them, hand tools, zip ties. Allen wrenches, and then some sandpaper. I do need to buy new sandpaper, all of this is used. Um, iPod dock, so I can play music. This is a really cool little vise that attaches really softly because of these plastic lips. Got it at um, Harbor Freight for like 20 bucks, it was pretty inexpensive. In here I have a bunch of Nerf components, uh, various screws that I like to save from certain blasters and electronic switches. Drill bit set, so I can just grab whatever drill bit I need to put into my hand drill, or I usually take them out into my drill press outside, which I'll get to. This is a little hardware container, um, so I have various screw sizes. Most of them are 632, some nuts, yeah, and then in various lengths, uh, so that's great. So they're right at hand, so I can just wheel on over from my chair and then grab whatever I need for that mod. Down there is um, some non-nerf stuff and also a bunch of bagged up parts. When I'm working on a component, or I'm sorry, when I'm working on a project, I'll often throw it into a Ziploc and then set it aside if I need to work on something else. So that appears to be a rapid strike and an alpha trooper. Um, that I've just shelved for now. Second shelf, uh, unicorn head. Needs no explanation. Up here is a current long shot project that I need to finish, and then some unicorn tactical sales parts. Um, I throw the whatever products I have up for sale in here, if they're not on my wall, in order to just keep them at hand so I can ship the next day. 
And here are some available projects or current projects, uh, Cyclone Shock and then a, an Alpha Trooper. I need to paint those and finish them. That appears to be a parts bin, of course, just random miscellaneous parts. Some darts, uh, Elite, I, I label them so I can see what I'm actually talking about here. So I'm not going to insult your intelligence, you can read them. But this is where I keep all of my ammo here. Um, and then here I have some worker parts. This is just a temporary bin. I'm just keeping them separated for the review videos. Uh, the worker brand parts from Taobao, or China. Up here is another tool chest that I keep some other stuff. This is a worker brand component I need to review. Hot glue gun, second soldering iron, third soldering iron, um, shrink wrap, other little electric screwdriver leveler. A lot of these tools are not really Nerf components. This is also just where I keep my tools for house repair or whatever like that. So, um, yeah, wood glue, cool stuff like that. Down here I have all of my 3D printed parts so I can go through them if I need them or whatever. Uh, current projects, not very organized here as you can see. This is a partially painted project that I need to finish. I don't even know what this is. That looks like a long shot project that I need to finish. Oh, probably connected to that shell. Um, wiring gear, batteries, a bunch of battery trays, and then a bunch of other wiring gear. Then down here is a staple gun, I'm sorry, a nail gun, a drill, and then the bag for the drill. Don't really use those much for Nerf. Um, sitting out here is a tripod. Um, that's how I film. My chronograph is also on a tripod so then it's easier to shoot. This tarp here is just a king size sheet um, put up on my wall so I can throw it. I usually just grab it and I throw it over top of this and then I put my chair there and I film into that. And when I'm filming I will dispatch my handy dandy umbrellas and then put them up onto the light sources uh, which gives better light for uh, review videos and that's, that's how that works. And these are stored up in my closet here with my secondary tripod in case my primary goes down. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff. A lot of this is not related to Nerf, like my cat carrier uh, bag and carpet and all of that. With the stuff that is, I have acetone to clean off my brushes, rubbing alcohol to clean off all sorts of fun stuff, uh, chronograph box, don't really need that, but uh, miscellaneous crap for non-Nerf, Play-Doh, which I used for Smoothcast 65D. I build little fake walls inside of the Nerf guns to distribute the Smoothcast more appropriately. And then I have the Smoothcast 65D, of course, various pegboard hooks in these boxes. Um, a bunch of spare parts for Nerf guns that I usually just ruffle, rustle through if I need to find something. Um, shop rags, foam backer rod, a bunch of Kush darts that are no longer great, which I'll have a separate video on. And then spare container lids um, for the containers when I want to shut them. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I do have a dedicated bedroom for my workroom, which is great. So um, it is pretty messy most of the time, but if I have guests or anything, I can just shut the door and it looks all clean and it makes my house look better. Then when I need a real tool, I can just step out into my garage. And this is my garage workshop where my bigger tools are and then I also paint in here a lot which I just clear coated that so that needs to dry. So starting over here I have a bunch of cardboard boxes. I use those to ship out products and because I don't want to throw them away I just kind of a pack rat. I keep them all just in case I need to make a box or whatever. Bandsaw by Royobi. Great bandsaw. When I cut something off I'll throw it into my scrap bin here. Um, down here I also have packing material and purchase box that fits Strife's and Rapid Strike Uzis extremely well. I don't need that many boxes by any means, but I found a deal on Amazon so I bought them. Uh, belt Sander by Ryobi, great tool. Uh, drill Press also by Ryobi, great tool again. All of the Ryobi tools are pretty affordable. They're not going to do a professional job like a giant high speed bandsaw or whatever, but for um, plastics and our, and our hobby in general, definitely more than enough. And a lot of this other Stuff out here is not really for Nerf, it's for other projects. Another tool I use is my shop vac. That thing's phenomenal because if I want to clean off sawdust, I'm sorry, like plastic dust or whatever, it makes it really easy. Uh, these things are stupidly powerful. They suck up absolutely everything giggity, um, but they are kind of loud, which is why I wouldn't recommend it for like a home vacuum. But for a workshop, it's perfect. So that's where I do the outside work. Um, I'm typically not out here quite as much as indoor. I'm usually out here. I take the part, I cut it, and I walk back in to finish it. Um, unless I'm painting or doing something else that requires a ton of space. Lighting out here is this hanging uh, lamp and then I also have a light source over there um, which is pretty important when you're dealing with tools like this. If I turn those off, which I can do by hitting that, it gets pretty dark pretty quickly and I just have my one garage light. The garage light is fine for using it as a garage but when you're cutting and stuff it can get dangerous if you have a shadow there and then whoops your hand goes in the blade. So that is it for my workshop tour. Um, this is where I mod my Nerf guns. If you have any questions or comments on the tools and stuff, let me know. Thanks for watching.